It's like a whole mood everywhere you go. I have to tell you, this is the first time on the Jennifer Hudson show where when I pull up, I saw a whole trailer <laughs> outside of the studio. That was for I, you. I wanted to respect your space. There's certain things that I do before I go on stage, and I didn't want that to... <laughs> certain things like what? I mean, I have a certain aroma that I don't... <laughs> I don't want to follow me to your set. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Now, Slew, I gotta ask you, I just wanna know this. How long you been smoking? <laughs> like, when you start? Do you even remember when you started? I started probably when I got to, like, 12th grade. 12th grade? In high school, yeah. And then I, I was, like, on and off. And then when I started making records, it became, like, it was medicine for me. It was like my medicine to keep me calm and to keep me focused on what I was supposed to be doing. So I would say probably 30 some years. I and mean... we found out that it's medically inclined. So I, I, was, do I was doing some real, I was doing some uh, what you would call futuristic smoking. I was smoking for the future. You were smoking? <laughs> How did you spend your holiday? My holidays, I spent it in Bora Bora with my wife, mm. a couple of my grandkids, my son and my daughter. Uh, we went out there to relax, just to enjoy the other side of the world. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I got my shirt off? Yes, you said you got your shirt off. You don't remember that picture? I do remember, but y'all ain't supposed to see me with my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> what was the weather like out there? Cause... It was beautiful. I mean, it was like 75 or better every day. All, even at nighttime, it was beautiful. Well, and it took you 30 years to take your first vacation? It really did. I was so focused on um, the, the task at hand, like, which was... I had a job, like, yeah. and my job was to entertain and to make people feel good, and I loved it. And I never thought about me, I always thought about you. Right. So for one point in my life, I was like, well, let me just take some me time and see what it feels like to take a vacation. You I deserve that, because you blessed us all <laughs> so much. You can take a ton, but I'm going to take that out your book, because I need a vacation, <laughs> you too. You better get you one. One day, I'm going to get me one good old <laughs> vacation. I don't know if it's going to be Bora Bora, but it's going to be somewhere, that's for sure. Now. Okay, I'm just, I was trying to imagine Snoop as a granddad. So how many grandkids do you have? Actually, I have, I have a total of 12 grandkids. 12? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. What? And they're different ages, ranges, sizes, and I love them all the same way. Oh. Actually, my oldest grandson, his birthday is today, so I'm on my way to his birthday party when I leave here. <laughs> How old is he gonna be? He's gonna be nine years old. That Zion brought us. That is adorable. <laughs> what do your grandkids call you? Well, he was the first one to name me. He used to call me Papa Noop because he couldn't he couldn't say Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> so he started calling me Papa Noop. <laughs> and then as time went by, he learned how to say Snoop. <laughs> So now I'm Papa Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Do you have a name for them? Do you call your grandkids anything? Uh, that's Choo Choo, that's Cece, that's Symphony, that's Zion. Go ahead, Granddad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, now you a legend yourself. You, I mean, I don't know nobody who don't love Snoop. Okay, we all do, right? <laughs> I don't know what to ask you first. Like, have you ever been starstruck by anybody? Yes. Yes, I have. Who? Um, Pam Greer. Oh. oh. Well. Um, Pam Greer, that movie right there. <laughs> we was Look at this. Oh, <laughs> we was doing a movie, Bones, right? And this, one, this is young Snoop. I'm young at the time, right? So they tell me I got the role with Pam Greer. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to... I got Pam Greer. It's a... <laughs> Catch the flight to uh, Frisco to Vancouver. So when I get to Frisco, I'm sitting down, and Pam Greer walk up and just sit right next to me and start talking What'd to me. What'd you do? My heart beating fast, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, my heart beating fast. <laughs> so I'm like, OK, I, I hear what you're saying, Pam. Give me a minute. I go to the bathroom and faint. <laughs> <laughs> you fainted for real? I fainted. I'm laying on the ground. My security come in. they like, get off this nasty floor, man. What is you doing? I'm like, I looked up, I said, Cuh, I just met Pam Green. <laughs> and they pulled me off the floor, wiped me down, and I sat next to her the whole flight, and I didn't even look at her. She was talking to me and just 
like, and I'm just like, I can't believe what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> but she broke me down. She gave me all of the information that I needed as far as to, like, lose that. She was like, she, she gave me information on how to be a better actor, a better person, and how to receive people like this who you're infatuated with. Yeah. So I thanked her for that, and I believe I became a better actor after that. So, Pam, I love you for that, and I appreciate you. <laughs> Can I give you, you something some, right you now? You got something for me? Yeah, I got well, this. Okay, we give. This y'all. rose gold death row chain for you, Jen. I get a death row chain, y'all. I'm part of the family too. You've been a part of the family. Now it's official. Yeah. I got my swag. Thank you. Y'all check my swag out right here. You can't tell me nothing. Nothing. More with Snoop, we'll be right back. Right back. Right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.